Actually, FUDs. I love acronyms, especially military acronyms. Uh, I think there's a, 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 a an agency back in Washington called the Bureau of Acronyms that makes these things up. FUD stands for formally used defense sites. And, you know, in, in the old days when you, you had any kind of a facility, I don't care whether it was federal or state or whatever, out, out in, in remote Alaska, you, you know, you, you, you you did things differently than you have to do today. It was the accepted norm then, but it's not the accepted norm now, so we have to go out there now and, and clean these sites up. Uh, de defense is not the bright spot in the future. From, from, from my estimation, everything that I read and understand, uh, Congress and, and uh, the administration is in the process of cutting a half a trillion dollars over the next 10 years out of the defense budget, and these cuts, as they affect Alaska, will be in the area of troops and, and Air Force squadrons. You know, when they cut Navy ships, it doesn't affect us much here. But when they cut troops and squadrons, it will. Um, it's no secret that Alaska has some very expensive bases to operate uh, because of the high energy costs. Uh, you know, when it's uh, 51 below like it was last week in Fairbanks when I was there, and that's cold. Um, you know, it takes a lot of a lot of energy to keep those buildings on at, at Wainwright and, and Isleson warm. And the cost of fuel up here is higher than it is down there. Uh, we saw in 2004 uh, just a, a little hint of what happens with BRAC. BRAC is base realignment and closure. Uh, when there were an, uh, some potential closures that, that uh, fortunately Ted Stevens was able to uh, uh, intercede in, and all we did was close Galena, uh, a, a moth mothballed forward base, forward air base, and uh, uh, move QLIS from uh, Anchorage International Airport to uh, uh, Elmendorf, but we can see in 2012 through 14 uh, another serious round of BRAC, and uh, um, you know it's your guess is as good as mine whether it's going to hit uh, the Fairbanks region with Ileson and, and Wainwright or uh, hit Jay Bear here in uh, in Anchorage. Uh, you know there's good arguments both ways on which one will get impacted the most, but um, don't want to paint a doom and gloom there. But I think we need to realistically expect that we're going to have to take our share of those defense cuts. Thank you.